everyone, so this makeup tutorial is going to be number eight in my top 10 most beautiful British women of all time series as voted by QVC. If you haven't seen the past two videos that I've done, I'm gonna link them in the information bar below and you guys can go and check them out. So number eight is Kate Beckinsale. And I often forget that Kate is British because I think she's in quite a lot of American films and I believe she lives in the States as well. I kind of sometimes forget that she's actually British, but she is and she's very, very beautiful. And today I'm gonna to be recreating a look that she wears quite a lot of the time. I'd say it's kind of her red carpet look. It is a very kind of classic glamorous red carpet look, but it's also kind of easily achievable for everybody as well. And it's very flattering. So the look is a kind of purpley smoky cat eye with baby pink lips and shimmery baby pink cheeks. This is the final look. I hope you guys like it and if you want to see how to achieve it then keep watching. So I'm going to start by applying Sue Devitt's Triple Seaweed Whipped Foundation in Great Sandy Desert and I'm going to be using my all-time favorite foundation brush which is the Gemma Kid number no. six flat top foundation brush. And this foundation just gives a really good coverage but it still leaves your skin looking quite natural um, and a little bit dewy which is perfect for the look we're going for. Then I'm just gonna take Laura Geller's Duo Concealer and cover up any dark circles or blemishes that I have. As you can see, this has got two different colors, so you can mix and match, or you can use them, obviously, in different areas of your face if they're different colors. I'm just going to... Okay, so once I've done the concealing, I'm just going to tidy up my eyebrows a little bit. And Kate doesn't actually have particularly prominent brows, they're just kind of neat and tidy. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Brow Tech Little Trio. I'm going to use the lightest colour with the brush that came with it and just neaten up my brows a little bit. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to start on the eyes, and we're going for a kind of dark brown, smoky eye with a little bit of purple, and I'm going to be using Laura Geller's eyeshadow palette, which looks like this, and we've actually got a primer here, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this primer and apply that to my eyelids just underneath the shadow. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm just going to take the light brown colour here and just apply this all over the lids. So I'll zoom in for you. It doesn't have to be too neat at this stage. Using the same brush, I'm just gonna go in with this deep purple shade here and just place this from the center of the eyelid. Out to the outer corner there. Like so. And then once we've done that, I'm just gonna take a blending brush and just start to blend that colour out so you don't have any harsh lines. And once I've done that, I'm just going to go in with the darkest brown here and take a pencil brush and just add a little bit of that to the outer corner of the eye. Just to intensify the colour a little bit. and then take a little bit of that underneath the lower lashes too. And then just go back in with your blending brush and blend those colors together. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of the lightest pale pink color there and just take that into the inner corner, just as a little bit of a highlight. And then a tiny bit as well along that brow bone. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of Bobbi Brown's gel eyeliner in black ink with a little um, bent liner brush here. I'm just gonna line the upper lash line. like so, and then I'm gonna take that a little tiny bit just on the lower lash line too. And then take it inside and just line your waterline. And I'm only gonna take this about halfway in and then I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of blend that so it's a little bit of a transition. 
Then to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara. I'm using Bobbi Brown's Extreme Party Mascara, which I love. I'm just going to tilt my head back and apply a good coat of that. And then the bottom lashes too. Okay, so once I've done the eyes, I'm just going to zoom back out again and finish the face. It tends to be fairly tan quite a lot of the time so I'm just going to use Laura Geller's Bronze and Brighton Bronzer which looks like this and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and just add it slightly to the contour of the cheeks just to contour the face a little bit but also kind of across the forehead where the sun would naturally catch your face and then a little bit under my chin and down my neck as well just to blend the colour in. On the cheeks and lips I'm going to keep it fairly baby pink because I think that's a colour that Kate tends to go for quite a lot. I'm going to use Bobbi Brown's Shimmer Brick as a blush. Now this is actually really shimmery so you want to be quite careful with this not to use too much but I'm going to take more of this end than the paler end and I'm just going to add a little bit of that to the apples of my cheeks and then up onto my cheekbones as well. That just adds a very pretty glow to your skin. And then for the lips, I'm gonna use a really pretty lip combination. I'm using Mali's Tokyo Glow Lipstick, which looks like that, and Bare Mineral Strawberry Shortcake Lip Gloss, which is a gorgeous bubblegum pink. The lipstick is a very kind of glossy nude colour and then just adding the pink on top of that makes a good kind of medium between the pink and the nude which I think is what Kate tends to kind of go for most of the time. And that's it, so I hope you guys enjoyed my Kate Beckinsale makeup tutorial. Let me know if any of you guys try it out at home and keep your eyes open for the next in my QVC Most Beautiful British Women of All Time series. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you soon. Bye.